Phase one clinical trials are an important part of Winship's research portfolio. Phase one means that that's the first time either a new drug or a new combination of drugs is being administered to patients. That is the first step when a discovery crosses over from the lab into patients. And not every center can do that. You need a specialized team of experts, you need the infrastructure, and you need the patients who are willing to participate in these studies. And I'm glad to say that Winship has one of the top phase one programs in the country. Phase one clinical trials are first in human clinical trials. So what we're doing is we're taking drugs or drug combinations that are initially investigated in the lab, either in cell lines or in animal models or in animals, and now they're subsequently ready to be tested in a phase one clinical trial. Within the phase one clinical trial setting, really the goal is safety, and then trying to identify a signal of efficacy. And increasingly, we understand more and more about the genetics and molecular aspects of cancer. Phase one clinical trials are an important part of our clinical research mission here at Winship. And it is a very complex and lengthy process. Drug development from being in the lab all the way to actually making it to the clinic so that we can use it in patients may take years to develop. Patients are usually referred by other physicians to the phase one unit. They'll come in, meet the investigator. Any questions that they have will be answered at that time. There are standards that must be met before they are entered into the study. So even when a patient is referred for screening, it does not necessarily mean that they will make that study. There's a lot of evaluation and testing that has to be done before the final decision is made. It usually takes between two to three weeks because if they have to have scans, have to get the results back from the labs, and those labs have to be evaluated. In 2007, I, along with many others, were hired to help build a phase one program at Emory and within Atlanta. And so what we did then was really think carefully about who our population is and how we can grow. In 2007, I believe we enrolled 15 or 20 patients on phase one studies. And over a 15 year period, we've had a lot of partners and a lot of successes where we've been able to consistently enroll over 250 patients on trials. And what that means for patients is that we're able to bring more and more new drugs to their care and opportunities for enrollment on these trials so that we can then understand how effective these drugs are. A lot of the agents we've used in our program have gone on from phase one studies and into later phase studies and on to approval. Uh, many of those I can think of off the top of my head include uh, drugs like exazimib for multiple myeloma, drugs like uh, ramacirumab for uh, the treatment of a variety of different cancers. Um, those are just two examples. Within a lot of other areas, we've been able to give the first dose of drugs uh, to a patient anywhere in the world on six different occasions in the last five years. So we're very proud of being early in our development process, being uh, able to bring these drugs quickly to patients and have, if they're effective, have the opportunity to continue to provide these drugs to more patients within the phase one program and then beyond.